Hey, John here from Wild Scooter Parts. We're going to talk a little bit about the crazy cart and common problems with it and how to fix it. Right here we have a crazy cart. It's got a strange problem where we can turn the power on and it'll click, but it won't move. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to fix, diagnose the crazy cart and repair it. Turn on the power, press the gas. We hear a click. If you want to come closer so you can hear that click on the camera. But nothing's happening, okay? Now, first thing you want to look at is this switch here. The crazy car has two power switches. The first power switch is right here on the back. That's on the battery cover. Um, and the second one is up by the steering wheel, okay? The one by the steering wheel has to be in the out position for the car to run. You could back off a little bit and, and so we can get a full perspective on this out and the in position is off however it will click in either position okay so make sure that switch is in the out position cart's not running first thing you want to do you want to come back here you want to take off the screws and remove the battery cover I've already taken off the screws so we're gonna remove this and you can see a lot of wiring connections okay you're gonna get your meter um, which we actually sell on our website wildscooterparts.com and the meter, you're going to check the voltage of the batteries, first of all. So uh, if you could see that there on the meter. I'm going to put the two, the two prongs in the connector, the red and black, going to the battery. Okay? Make sure. Don't confuse it with the motor one that has a blue and yellow and a red and black. This is red and black on both sides, and it connects to the battery. I'm just going to put these terminals in here correctly. And we're going to look at the meter. On the meter, we have 26.5 volts. That's fine. Um, of course, before you start this, um, you want to make sure the batteries are fully charged. So you want to charge it overnight. If you have anything less than, let's say, 23 volts, um, there's something wrong with the batteries. They should always be over 24 on a full charge. Um, the machine will not run when you get below, like, 21 and a half. It won't do anything. So do a full charge. Make sure your batteries are high. Ours are at 26. Batteries are not the problem. We've got that. That knocked out of the equation. Now, next thing, this switch that we were talking about here, these tend to go bad. So we're gonna test that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the cart off. I'm gonna switch the meter over to continuity. And what that is gonna do, um, if you wanna come. You're going to see a, a change. See that go down to zero and when they're apart. So together, I'm trying to make it, there we go. Should go to almost zero, apart one. So that's how we're going to test our switch. Um, the interesting thing about this is the switch needs to be in the open position for the cart to run, not closed. So as you can see right there, nothing happens. It's open. Now if I push the switch in to the off position, it's going to show continuity, okay? You want, with the switch out, the running position, the switch to be open, disconnected. The reason that is like that is the controller is also used on scooters and they use it for the brake switch, okay? That's why this needs to be open for it to run. In essence, closing the switch, it's like you're pressing the brake on a scooter, okay? So it will not let the motor run. So out is on, it tests good. We got no connection there, and when we push it in, we do get a connection once again. So the switch is working good. That's terrific, okay? So now we've knocked the batteries and the switch out of the equation. Next thing to test is the throttle. This is where a lot of people get very confused, okay? We're going to switch the meter back to our voltage reading, either uh, 20 or 200 volts, doesn't matter. That's just the scale we set it on. And Connor, if you want to focus in on this connection, this is a throttle going to the front of the, the cart, the pedal. This goes to the pedal, this goes to the controller. The red and black wires here. With the cart turned on, the red and black should show close to five volts. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna look at the meter. I don't know if you can see that good in the camera. I'm in the red and the black wire there. And look down at the meter. Once I can get them in there good enough. You see that meter, it's 4.3 volts. That's great. So the controller is making power, sending it to the throttle. Now we're gonna check the signal when you press the throttle. So for this, I'm going to actually try to wedge these in here so I can show you. We're going to get on the black right there. You see that, that black one there? We're going to shove one of the prongs in there and get that. And the other one we're going to put on the white, the white wire, okay? This is on the throttle pedal side of the connector. 
not the controller side. The controller side, the colors are all different. You're gonna get all screwed up. So go on the throttle side. On there, once again on the black, and on the white. And you probably might need an assistant to hold them in there. But you're gonna look at the meter here. You're gonna see it's 0.85. Now if you could reach over, Connor, with one hand and still fill in this, press the throttle pedal. See that voltage going up? And then coming back down, depending on where you press the throttle. Um, you can see it right there. So what that does is that's going to send a varying signal to the controller uh, from 0 to 5 volts. It's actually 0 to like 4 volts. But if you see that varying signal, it's good. That means your throttle switch is working and sending the to the controller. So we narrowed out the batteries. They're good. We checked the, the power switch there. That, that seems to be fine. Uh, and now we just checked the throttle. It seems to work. So you're going to say, wow, well, the cart's not running. Interesting. Check the, uh, let's check the motor leads. Now, we're going to put it on the motor wires here. See if we get power going out to the motor. And we're going to put one there. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. It's just going to show as negative on the meter if you hook them up wrong. And I don't know how you're going to look at this while I do this. But you're going to put these on here, and you're going to, Connor's going to press the throttle there. And now you see, we, we had, I'm on the 20 volt scale, so we'll go up to 200. Look at that, we're getting motor to the, we're getting power to the motor. See that, when you hold that down for a minute, let it go, let it off a little, hit it down all the way. You see that going up all the way, all the way up. So we got power to the motor, but it's still not going. So at this point, we know the problem must be between this connector and the motor, because power is getting to the motor. So what you want to do is get a screwdriver, we're going to use the drill here. And take off these four screws on the front crazy cart cover here. Um, which, by the way, if you ever have to fix the chain or something like that, this is a very, very easy way to do it, is to take this cover off. It comes off a lot easier than you would think. So four screws. If you ever tried to do the chain on a crazy cart from underneath, you know what I'm talking about, how hard it is. This cover just comes right off. Uh, both sides work the same way, and you have easy access to the chain, the chain guard, and all that. So there's our motor. Okay. Um, now I've elevated the cart with some blocks of wood under it, as you should when you're working on it, so that it doesn't roll away on you if, you if the motor starts to work. And there's our motor. Now, if you look close, the motor wire goes through this, is wrapped with a spring around it to protect the wire, since it gets all wrapped up when you turn. Now, uh, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, we already know what the problem is with this cart because we found it yesterday. Um, the problem is in here somewhere, this wire has become damaged. Now, the interesting thing is, if I hit the throttle, see now it's going, and I turn the wheel, look at that, nothing. But I get to a certain point, this wire has a, has a, a broke, an open in it. Somewhere in here, this wire is broken. So that's our problem with the cart. What we're going to do is we're going to take this wire all out of here and see where the damaged piece of the wire is. But as you can see, in certain, certain positions, I can maybe get it to run. So the problem's in there. So to sum it all up, I mean, normally the problem will either happen here, where the wire gets all wrapped up, or with the controller or throttle pedal. Um, I should also point out, when we did the throttle test, we did test that, that the voltage is coming from the throttle. But there could be other problems with the throttle if you really want to be sure, if you know it's an electrical component. As long as the motor runs, if you hook the motor directly to a battery, and bypass all this, the motor runs, Really, the only thing that could be bad is the is somewhere in the wiring or the throttle pedal and this controller. We sell this as a kit, the pedal and the controller, and we also sell them separately at uh, wildscooterparts.com. So uh, go, go out there, get your parts. If you need batteries, we got the best price in batteries around. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get going on this cart now and take this all apart and uh, find the broken wire in there. So uh, once again, wildscooterparts.com. Get all your parts for your crazy cart and your other Razor products.